Hey, Flynn here, and welcome to today's adventure. I'm going to teach you how to build a piston-driven air cannon. Uh, this isn't like a lot of the air cannons you see with just a ball valve. They're like, plunk. This one sounds like an explosion and really accelerates uh, your stuff. So you can buy uh, five-foot sections of, uh, make sure you have Schedule 40 PVC. You need a four-inch and a two inch pipe. Uh, you can get the five foot ones. Uh, six foot works really well too, um, but this way you don't have to cut. Uh, you're gonna need a male adapter with the threaded port. Make sure all your fittings are Schedule 40 as well. Uh, the back screw and cap. A four inch to two inch adapter. A three inch to two inch adapter a 3 inch cap, a 2 inch uh, rubber end plug, uh, let's see we have 3 quarter inch NPT uh, black iron nipple threaded both ends, 3 quarter inch full pass ball valve, we have our uh, Teflon tape, we have a quarter inch uh, NPT nipple, quarter inch full pass ball valve, our quarter inch to uh, air nipple adapter here. Um, we have the PVC primer, PVC cement, and then we're going to need a knife, a Dremel with a sanding drum, and a wrench. Let's begin. Alright, one of the first things we're going to do, because the pipe has to go all the way through this, so there's this little brim. That's what the Dremel tools for we have to sand all that out same with this one uh, you're probably gonna want a saw too uh, so we're gonna sand that out and then we're gonna cut uh, some just leave some little spokes here this goes in the back side so the three inch cap and th like so three inch fits in here but then the outer part of this fits perfectly inside of the four inch pipe um, so we'll also have to sand off this bump here and then on the cap, yeah, there's a bump here. We need to sand that off as well. This acts as the piston. It actually slides back and forth inside. We'll get to that later. Well, crap. All right, so uh, blew out the sanding drum, and I don't have any more. But this little grind wheel should work just fine. Okay, quick note. So this, the one I was shown at the beginning of the video, it does say Schedule 40, but it does not say Schedule 40 uh, 220 PSI. So this one is not rated for pressure, and this one is. Now from what I could tell looking up, this one should be good for about 100 PSI, but I wouldn't play with it. Um, if you take the two, just to get an idea, this one 
the peat, the one for pressure weighs about four times as much. So make sure you're rated for pressure. All right, next on the three inch to two inch. So this will go inside of the four inch um, in the very back and hold the two inch in center because it's going to go back uh, like about four feet, a little over four feet because we need room for the piston to slide behind it, which is this. So it will, you know, the pipe will stick out past that. This will seal up against the pipe, keeping the air from going by. And then I'll show you how the release mechanism will work. This blows back, letting all the air kablooey out of this end. Um, so we don't need all of this. Uh, we just need to leave a couple of spokes. And I'm going to try and leave a brim of this around. Uh, just because when I've tried to do just uh, thin pieces back, um, it's harder to glue this because um, it tends to bend in. So I think if we have a ring around the back, uh, it should hold it a little bit more stable. Okay, the rubber plug is actually just used as a rubber seal. This will go on the end um, of the two inch PVC pipe, uh, the piston then that gives it a rubber base for this to seal up against it. And so we need to cut out the inside of here. Carefully. Got to keep all the digits intact. Let's see if we can't clean that up a little bit. Oh, it's ugly. Not to worry though, because just this outer surface, the very outside of this, is what seals up. We just don't want to cut that all off so it doesn't slide off the pipe. So, you know, we need something right here for that to butt up against. Hopefully you do a prettier job than I did. But it won't affect performance. Alright, so we have our 2 inch one here and the little basket that we made. We're going to want to slide this on and down uh, eh, like 5 inches or so. Um, so we'll slide it, we'll get it about where we want, we'll put a little PVC cement on here, and then slide it down onto the cement. Um, so it sticks. And this doesn't have to be uh, primed, because this is not pressure bearing. It's just, uh, it's just there to... Bit of the glue there, a the dab will do you. Oop. And there we are. So you slide that on there, that stuff starts setting pretty quick. So that just keeps um, our pipe centered inside of the four inch pipe while letting our air to pass by. 
All right, now our rubber cap goes on the end here. Um, what I found works nice is uh, this is just the primer. It's acetone. Uh, it'll just soften up the PVC a little bit, which gives those ribs uh, a little bit more to bite into. Nice and tight. Alright. Actually, now that that's on there, um, we have a nice little guide to the tube to clean that up. Haha! -ha. Look at that. Beautiful. We're going to go to the other end of the tube. And this is where. Uh, the two inch to four inch adapter is going to go. Slide this down past where we want to go. Um, this part we sanded so we don't need to prime it but we want to prime our tube here and then we'll put our cement and then slide that back up on and then we'll put a little cement behind there too to kind of seep down. Yeah, I want to be careful not to get too much primer and have it uh, run down into our joint because then we won't be able to move it. I like the clear primer. You can get the purple primer so you can see what you did. This one we don't have to paint. We probably won't paint it. We should paint it badass. As soon as that's dry, we go back. I'm going to turn this sideways so we don't get runs. Put a nice healthy amount of glue on there. Oops. Well, we're stuck there now. <laughs> that's that's where we wanted it, right? So with the quarter inch, um, there we are. Three eighths goes to the inside of the thread. This quarter inch interior, not exterior. This one, I don't have uh, a three quarter inch drill bit or one inch. I don't know. This is three quarter interior, so it's seven eighths probably. Maybe one inch. I don't know. I don't have the drill bit. So we're going to make do. We're going to drill a five eighths inch hole, then use the Dremel to make it bigger.
Ну, я спрацьований. So that's our dump valve, and that's our fill it up valve. Now we just need to put a bunch of tape on here and screw it into the end of the the cannon. Test it out. All right, we're out here in the garage. Compressor set to 80 psi. Let's hook our airline up, and when we open this, we should hear that that cap that is our piston uh, seat up against there. It should kind of thud. Oh, if we shut this. <laughs> And because we compromised this back end, I usually don't like to stand back here. Um, Alright, so we're filled up. Uh, you can hear we have a small leak somewhere. It's not the end of the world. It's not like we're going to leave it compressed. Um, maybe we'll find it later. Seal it up. So when we dump this valve, the pressure back here We'll drop that piston pops back and don't mind the messy garage let's see if we can get it all in the shot so here we go oh yeah all right didn't load anything in there just uh air in the tube and a water bottle at the end. Busted it right open. <laughs> 